And so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to transfer your nodes between different Blender projects so you don't have to reset them up over and over again. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've got this cool farm model that I've downloaded from Sketchfab. It's the Low Poly Farm V2 by Edwin RC. And I wanna set this up so that it has a white background when it's rendered. But I don't wanna go through and set up all of the nodes over and over again, right? I've done this setup in the past. I did a video on it, um, which I will link to in the notes down below. And now I just wanna bring in the environment setup from that model. So I've got a model where I've already set this up. So this is from a video that I did before where I showed you how to set up a model with a white background. And I wanna reuse that for this model. So I've got this whole node set up where we're using light pads and backgrounds. Like I said, I'll link to that video in the notes down below, but I wanna take this whole node set up and I want to bring it over into this new rendering, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna start by going into the shader editor or the shading editor, and I wanna find my node setup. So in this case, it's under my world settings because that's where I set that up because it's an environment setup. Um, and what I wanna do is I wanna take this whole node setup I wanna select it and I wanna do a control G. And so when I do a control G, what, and so what that's gonna do is that's gonna put this whole thing in a group, right? Notice how now this is kind of green and I'm seeing my node set up. And I can tab into and out of this, just like this. The other thing I wanna do is instead of having this going into a world output node in the group, I wanna delete the world output node and I wanna drag this into the group output. So notice how this is breaking this for right now. Um, so all you would do to fix this is just you would tab back into um, your overall node and you would just add the world output node over here. So you want world output outside of your group. So the shader is gonna go into the surface and you're good to go. But now I have this node group that I can tab into and see. And what I wanna do is I want to save that. And I'm gonna call this white background right here. And then the last step, and this is very important if you want this to show up in your import list, is you wanna save this model. So I'm gonna do a file, save. So now what I can do, because this is now saved inside of the information contained inside of this file. Well, now what I can do is I can append that setup into my world setup just by doing a file, append, and then going and finding that model. So in this case, the model is called white background example. I wanna double click in that. And if you hit save and you save that as a group, now there's a folder in here called node tree. What node tree is going to do is that's gonna contain all of your saved and grouped nodes that are in here. So if I double click in here, notice how I have a white background. So I'm just gonna double click on the white background and that's gonna append this to this file. Now notice how nothing has changed in my view yet. I still need to add this to my overall world settings. So if you were in layout view like this, nothing will have changed. You wanna jump over into the shading tab and you wanna click the drop down for world. And so what we wanna do now is we just wanna do a shift A and under add, you're gonna notice that there's a section over here for group. And so group is basically gonna let you add anything that you've appended to this file. Well, in this case, I've appended this white background. So I'm gonna click on white background in order to add this. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring this group into my file. So now if that's in here, notice how I can tab into this and I can see all the nodes that are contained inside of it. Well, now all I have to do is just drag this into my surface and we're gonna have to jump over into rendered view. But notice how now this is rendered with that white background. So it's using this node setup in order to do that. And so notice how this node setup was linking back to an HDR image um, and it also has my background set up in here. So that's an easy way to bring nodes in from another file inside of Blender. So if you wanna watch my video on setting up the white background shader system, I will link to that off to the side, as well as linking to another video teaching you how to use Sketchfab in order to import models for free into Blender. So go ahead and go check those out. I've got some other links on this page if you wanna support the show. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.